This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. You'll never find me. Okay, well, today today's comment is about uh, the stuff that's going on in the news. Uh, uh, recently, uh, uh, Joe Biden is uh, in the news and stuff, and it's kind of about that. Got Jim Bob thinking about those sort of things. And prior to that, you know, the politicians being uh, accused of uh, sexual harassment and all them kind of things. and or Joe's been accused of improper uh, touching, and uh, that's a new one on me. But anyway, so, so um, I'm thinking about that and uh, a solution to it because uh, now I don't want to be, uh, um, you know, uh, socially incorrect here or anything, but it's going to be mostly slotted towards men. And I don't mean no offense toward the women. I'm sure that some of these uh, situations could come up and affect the women as well. So I've come up with a solution to uh, these problems, you see. Um, it's getting where um, racial slurs is another thing. Uh, you, d you just don't know uh, what to say, what to do, how to act, when you can pat somebody on the back, or touch them on the shoulder or anything like that, or, or uh, when it comes down to, you know, actual um, dating and stuff like that, and you want to have some uh, intimate relationships, you don't know what you can do and what you can't do, and uh, so I come up with a solution to this, and I'm going to start a website, it's called uh, Jim Bob's Accept or Reject and or Racial Slur um, website, and uh, what, what this will do is it will help people in the dating situation uh, in uh, racial slur situations, if somebody has made a racial slur um, and that sort of thing, and um, help the people who have um, offended, apparently, uh, uh, not do so. And if they have, then they will know that they have, and they can make uh, proper corrections to their uh, to how they act. You see. So uh, this, this is how it's going to work. Excuse me, I'm not picking my nose. I'm just scratching. I got itch up here. Anyway, so uh, this is how it's going to work. See, if you're you're dating uh, somebody, and uh, we're going to use a man as an example here, okay? So if a man's dating a woman, and um, he's been out a couple of times, and he kind of likes this lady, and he wants to kiss her, or something like that, and uh, He'll send an a email through Jim Bob's website to this lady and say, uh, I'm uh, approaching the situation where I would like to um, kiss you. Uh, is that okay? And uh, because it's hard to do it in, in, in real life. And um, so uh, he'll send that to her and then she can send an email back. You know, if she likes him and everything, she can send it back and say, sure, I've been waiting for you to do it, blah, 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 however she wants to do it. And on the other hand, if she does not really care for this fellow, she could say, no, I'm sorry, I don't think we're really a good match, blah, blah, blah. See, so if that was say, from improper advancing on a woman, and, uh, and you could use it even for, you know, further when it becomes intimate and things like that, and either party could use it in that point, you know, the woman could say to you, um, you know, it's been the fifth date now, I'm kind of wondering if you're interested in me other than um, so and so and so forth, you know what I'm saying, I don't get too much detail here. Uh, okay, so um, same thing, say uh, in the workplace, uh, a man, I'm going to use a man again as an example, a man uh, who goes up to a lady and a uh, work, work uh, partner, and uh, he places his hand on her shoulder and uh, pats her back or something other like that and she doesn't like that well then she can send an email through Jim Bob's website uh, to this fellow and say look uh, stop and desist I don't really care for you coming up and placing your hands on me or this that, and the other and uh, he will know and then he can um, you know stop doing that and if he does it then she can have a certified letter sent through Jim Bob's website saying look cease and desist or I'm going to have you reported in so or more seriously like that so then she's got a record too that she has been violated 
and that she told a guy and he won't quit so that she could do that. So it can go both ways. So, okay, so um, the last thing is on the racial slur thing. And that's probably the hardest one for me because I don't feel like I'm a, 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 a have any racial in me. But, you know, I might make a comment that is um, insensitive to somebody in, in another racial situation or religious situation or something or like that. And so the same token, say that Jim Bob says something that's a, a racial slur in somebody else's mind. Well, then they can send me an email and say, look, Jim Bob, you said so-and-so and so-and-so, and, -so, and that was very hurtful to me, and uh, this is why. And, uh, you know, I'm of the certain, certain religion or certain, certain uh, race, and uh, that was offended to me, and um, this is the reason why. And see, that will help in racial relationships because people will then understand better how they're offending somebody like that, you know. So uh, I'll give you an example. Uh, let's say that Jim Bob is a big employer and he has a lot of employees and everything. And he's talking about this particular employee, say, uh, Joe Smith. And he says to somebody, hey, you know, uh, that Joe Smith... He's a really good employee. He's one of the best employees I've ever had. And he just keeps praising him, praising him, praising him. And he says, and he's, the, and he's a black man. Well, you see, that's, in my opinion, I wouldn't have thought of that years ago, but that's probably a racial slur. And people need to know that. I might not know that, see? So I might be complimenting a guy, and at the same time, doing a racial slur. So, so those are the kind of things that Jim Bob's new website's going to work, work on. And I'm going to set it up. And it'll be out there pretty soon, and it'll help people with all these situations. So we won't be going around. Joe Biden will know if he touches somebody in a third privately or smells of their hair or something other like that. So that's Jim Bob's take on it, and I hope you enjoyed it. Jim Bob's out. Please subscribe.